Natasha here from the Traveling Foxes and welcome to St. Petersburg, Russia! <sighs> it's in the middle of winter and as you can see I am all covered up. It's negative degrees but I am so excited because it's my first time to set foot on this monumental country, Russia. We are going to explore St. Petersburg one of the most beautiful cities in Russia. So I hope you enjoyed this video and join me in our exploration of this beautiful city. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming up soon. <gasps> streets called the Nevsky Prospect. It's a 2.5 mile avenue where you can see a lot of beautiful buildings, restaurants and it's also quite close to the major attractions in St. Petersburg. It's since it's the middle of winter there's some melted snow and the canals and the rivers have frozen. One of the major attractions here in St. Petersburg is the Church of the Savior in Spilled Blood. <laughs> that was a long name. <laughs> Took a while for me to remember that. So it's one of the major attractions here. It's similar to the one in Moscow. It's very colorful and fancy. It's, it looks almost like a gingerbread house. Even though the exteriors look so colorful, it does have a dark past because this is where the Emperor Alexander II was assassinated and was built in his honor. So let's check it out. Inside the Church of the Savior and Spilled Blood is a jaw-dropping work of art. Both the exterior and interior of the church is decorated with incredibly detailed mosaics of about 7,000 square meters. This was a huge project for St. Petersburg and took about 24 years to build and now stands as a museum of mosaics rather than a place of worship. At the Winter Palace, oh, it is so grandeur. This place used to be the official residence of the Russian emperors for decades until the Russian Revolution in 1917. But now it is a palace and it houses one of the biggest museums in the world, the Hermitage Museum. The State Hermitage Museum is definitely a must-see while in St. Petersburg. I was blown away by the incredible grandeur of the palace. It's impossible to see even a quarter of everything as it has over 3 million items and over 200 rooms to explore. But it's good to see some of the highlights and imagining how the emperors in Russia used to live. Another really impressive monument is the St. Isaac's Cathedral. It's the largest Orthodox cathedral in the city, with a dome reaching up to 100 meters high. Inside is a museum, but you can also go up to the dome and get a quick view of the skyline of St. Petersburg. All the way up to the top of the dome, 211 steps to be exact. Oh my god, it's cold here. So we made it here on top of St. Isaac's Cathedral. We are 40 meters high up and definitely the best place to see the skyline of St. Petersburg. Hey guys, welcome back. This is day two of St. Petersburg. Yesterday we did a lot of the touristy things and mostly along the Nevsky Prospect. But today we're going to do 
something special because I decided to book a tour with Petersburg experts. I wanted to be able to see the hidden gems and um, learn more about the other side of the city. So yeah, uh, before that I, uh, I decided to go to this stereotypical Soviet style res restaurant um, and I'm getting some Russian pies and of course coffee <laughs> to fuel my day and I hope you join me. Let's go explore! Potato, cheese and mushroom pie. Mm. Hi, I'm Natasha. Alexei, nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> so we start here and we already get acquainted with the assortment. <laughs> this is the garden. It's one of the most central gardens in St. Petersburg. It's called Catherine's Garden. It's expensive to rent. Of this. course. <laughs> and for example, this one belonged to Yelisei Brothers. <laughs> Traditional medicine. Wow. It's different. Oh, it's amazing. The sign of the Soviet Union, the emblem. Because the Soviet Union was organized for workers and farmers, yes. After this fire, they managed to restore the facades. Yes, like Dostoevsky, exactly. Hold on, let's see. Yes, let's see. So I just arrived at Pulkova Airport on our way back to Amsterdam. So that wraps up our short trip here in St. Petersburg. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below what you think about this city because I surely, surely enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, catch you guys again later. This is Natasha from the Traveling Foxes. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!